How to set the screen background color. First of all, we will set the screen to a single background color and we will also modify the app background color at the top. And secondly, we will create a background color with a gradient. If you're new here, subscribe to my channel and make sure to watch this video till the end. Let's get started by setting our screen to a single background color and we will also modify here this app bar at the top. To set a single background color, go to your build method and here to the scaffold and here inside you have a property which is called background color and then you can basically choose here a color and then we have here this orange background color. And if you like, you can also choose here many other colors. So for example, you choose here red and then you have here this red background color. You also can go to Google and here you can type in hex color and then you have here this color picker where you basically can choose any color that you like. Copy here then this hex code, go back to your IDE and then you create here a new color object and inside of it you paste then this hex code color and lastly replace this hashtag by 0xff. And now if you hot reload you have here exactly this background color that you have chosen before. If you like you can also change the background color of the app bar at the top. Therefore simply go to your app bar and here you have also a property which is called background color and then you can also choose here a different color. In case you want to have for the whole screen the same color then you can also set your app bar background color to transparent and this looks then like this and our app bar also has here some shadow which we need to remove. Therefore you have within your app bar also a property elevation and with this if you set it to zero then the shadow will disappear. Importantly to notice here is that the background color which you have set for your screen is only for this individual page. So if you go then to other screens then you see the background color is there not inside. If you like to add the background color to multiple screens then you need to go simply to your main file and then you go here to the material app and here you create then a theme data and inside of it you have a property scaffold background color and here inside you can then set the background color which will appear on all the screens. And now this screen has here this purple background color that we have defined and I also can go here to all the other screens they all have this purple background color. However if I go here to this screen then you see this has here still the orange background color. And this is because here within our scaffold we have defined the orange background color and if you supply it here then it will override the global variant. However if you delete it again then you see that he takes then the global variant that we have defined here within our scene data. Next we want to look at how we can add here a background color with a linear gradient. And therefore we want to get started here with a background color of orange and our app bar is totally transparent. And now to create this linear gradient go to your scaffold body property and here you simply wrap it then inside of a container widget and then you can supply here some decoration. And here you need to add then a linear gradient where you need to define then some colors within this list. And now if I hot reload you see here a gradient from the left to the right side and if I put here another color inside then you see it more clearly. So here on the left side we have the first color orange and we have the second color on the right side. If you like you can also go to your linear gradient and here you can set then a begin and end property. And now I set it here to top center and bottom center and this means that our color here at the top the orange color starts here at the top center location and it goes then until the bottom center location so here we have then this blue gray color. Next we want to create here a more complex linear gradient with multiple colors. Therefore simply put here all the colors inside that you like and which you want to display on your screen. So I have chosen here five different colors. Let's also make our app bar background color disappearing. Therefore you simply need to remove here the background color within your scaffold. And this looks then like this, however you don't see that the linear gradient is starting here from your app bar and this is what we want to change. To also start the gradient effect directly from your app bar you need to go to your scaffold and here you have a property which is called extend body behind app bar. So we extend here our whole body behind our app bar so that it is here behind. And now if I hot reload you see that the gradient effect is starting directly from the beginning of the screen. 
Right now our gradient starts here at the top center location, so here we display then the first color and the last color will then end at the bottom center which is here this location and this is then here this green color. To make it more interesting you also can change here then the location, for example you put here top right inside, so this is this location and the end should be then bottom left which is here then this location. And now you see that our gradient is going from the top right to the bottom left corner. And lastly you can then change how each of these colors here are then displayed within our screen. So some of your colors you can also stretch further so that they get more space and you give other ones less space. And you can do this with the property stops and here you need to put then as many items inside as you have here inside. So in this case we have here five colors and therefore I also need to include here five stops. And how it works is that you have then for each of your color a stop, so in this case this stop here. So for our first color we have here 10% inside which means that our first color starts at zero and goes then up to 10%. To see it more clearly let's also exchange it here by a different color and now you see we have here this color which is then going up to 10%. The second color is then going up from 10% to 40% and this is then here this color. Let's also replace this color here by another color so I put it here to red and then you see it goes here up to 40% of the screen height. The next color is then going up to 60%, so it goes then from 40% to 60% and this is then here basically this color. And then we also have another color which is going from 60% to 80% and the last color is then going from 80% to 100% and this is then exactly here this green color which is going up to the end. And by the way, if you want to get here this whole source code of this application, then you can get it with the first link in the description and with the second link you can get access to my Flutter courses where I teach you how you can become a better and more efficient developer. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter and see you soon. Bye!